Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and welcome back to a new week and what better way to start a new week after Halloween than Eagle Moss and Hero Collectors build the Ecto-1. <laughs> So let's get this right. We're doing issue 14, stage 47. We're going to be finishing off the front seats for this. But before we go into the magazine, a couple of things to show you. Uh, first off, we do have a letter in this one. Now, this applies to peeps in the UK. I'm not sure if this is going to uh, correspond to peeps over in the US. It's just saying they're out of stock of the next free gift at the moment, but that will be coming soon. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, not quite sure what that is. Everyone suggested that it is the display base. I have seen some photos of the display base. Big old thing it is. So uh, I guess it is out there somewhere but uh who knows when that's going to be coming uh, but let's show you what we've got to do in today's one as you can see these parts again are ginormous i mean uh, let's just take these out of here i just want to have a quick look at this actually and just see what sort of material this seat is uh but yes it's like a a, a flexible sort of plastic it's not like a faux leather but uh that's what the seat's going to be looking like. Can't wait to get on with that. Look, look at me preempting the whole build by opening things. Uh, so that's what we've got in that issue. Now, coming later in stage 48, we're going to be doing some parts for the passenger seat backs. All here, all to do with the seats. Uh, in stage 49, we're going to be receiving parts for the driver's side rear workstation for your Ecto-1. And then in part 50, in this stage, you're going to be receiving parts for building the jump seat. That, <laughs> that, that attaches to the driver's side rear workstation. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. It looks like we're really doing all the internals uh, coming up for this. Everyone really likes to know what we got coming in issue 15. And as you can see, all the parts are here. Looks like some more parts of the workstation and seats there with a jump seat. Uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like a bit of a uh, floor panel because that could be a wheel arch section there. Um, lots of little details, but uh, I think we've got a lot more to do in these issues than we did in issue 13. So uh, this should be quite fun. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, this is going to be quite fun. So this is the seat. It says it's a flexible material and inside you've got sponge as well. So when they're together, it's going to provide that cushion effect that we've got here. I have seen some people already weather this, which is going to be quite good. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that, but uh, we'll see. We do have this plastic section here as well with loads of these screw holes around here, which is actually just going to mirror this and go inside this. Now, when we push this inside, this is going to be uh, quite funky. You just got to put all of these little screw holes above the holes all these uh, lug holes above the lugs there going all the way around just like this just making sure everything's in i think lining this up is going to be uh the fun bit for this as you see this edge is uh, a little bit harder to do so i'm just gonna take my time over this and get everything in there we go i think we're good make sure everything's good and lined up exactly where we want it so there's the seat as you said you've got that cushion effect there but we're going to be putting in a lot of screws now because everywhere you see one of these flaps we've got to be putting in an mp screw and that's probably why they provided so many of them so we get these open and get these screwed in now, as you can see these screws have a little flange on them so what i'm going to do line one up and as you can see on the top camera we'll get the first one screwed in now you're going into plastic on this so you don't really need to over tighten them just enough to hold that into place we've got to do the same with every single one around there so you know what i think i'm going to speed this up So we'll slow that down and I'll put the last one in here. I think the old adage, if you saw me putting them in, have a little bit of trouble with this, is uh, more haste, less speed with these. <laughs> but there we go, that's all in. I do love this seat. I love how you've got a cushion effect. It's quite heavy as well with all of the material that we got on there now, uh, but that looks just like that. So now we need to bring over the part that we worked on in the last stage looking just like this and we've actually got these sort of bolster brackets here which are going to attach this to the floor pan eventually. Uh, these are just going to go on the bottom of this section here just into the holes that you can see here. Now they do have little lug holes here which are going to help you align this up. So that one's going to go in just like that. We screw it in from this side here with just some AP screws. So 
got them here quite thin screws these ones and just put that in the holes on this side now I am very aware when I'm filming this that I am filming black screws on black plastic on black foam so it might not be showing up as good as I'd like it to if you want to see the detail my suggestion is crank up the brightness on your TVs or monitors turn down the contrast <laughs> you'll be able to see it then uh, but there you go that's two screws holding that in and that's the first bracket in on that side we're going to do the same on the other side so once again we've got a uh, lug just at the top there that's going to go into the hole that we can just see there so that will line that up perfectly for us I, I do like those locating lugs because they make my life easier when it comes to putting the screws in so how is everybody did everyone recover from the live stream on Thursday with the gore makeup? As you can see, I still haven't got hair on my arm. <laughs> it is growing back actually already because it's getting really itchy, quite stubbly as well. But uh, I enjoyed it. I'm sure Charlotte will do that again. Someone wants her to do some sort of horror effects makeup on my head next time, which should be fun. But there we go. That's the brackets in looking like that. Now all we've got to do is take the bottom seat here and as you can see you've got the cutouts in this side here that's just going to go on the top and we're going to locate all of this up together one and the other side here two push that into place just like that and then this is going to be held in with IP screws in those eight holes there so I'll get them in and I'll continue chatting with you now We've got a live stream on tomorrow night for the general community. I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing yet. And we've got a Patreon only stream on Wednesday. But as I did mention, there's going to be no live stream on Thursday this week on account that I'm not here uh, because Friday is my uh, father-in-law's funeral. So I'm going to be away from Thursday afternoon really. But uh, it's back to normal programming next week. So uh, we've got plenty to do. Uh, but I'm going to try and get as many of these Ecto ones out as I can this week. So uh, you can see how this comes together. But just doing something like this. This is just the, the front seat here. And seeing how big this is in my hands. This is probably the biggest scale model part work apart from the uh, victory that I've done even looking at the Bismarck there because we're not even up to that stage as a matter of fact the Bismarck is slightly bigger now but uh, <laughs> oh we've got one more to put in Bismarck slightly bigger but uh, yeah this is a this is a what can I call it a monolith <laughs> it's gigantic whatever it is right okay so here's the last screw going in no nope, we've got two more screws oh, you can tell it's Monday can't you right okay here's the next one this is the last one actually just going in here we seem to have quite a few screws left over in this one and I have put screws everywhere they need to go so I am going to save those screws obviously uh, but that's all there is to do in that now obviously these move to be able to put the back seat forward so you can click them back no problems at all and that's what it looks like underneath and that's all there is to do in that stage so there you go i'd like to say a nice easy way to start off with monday but monday morning things are never easy are they but in stage 48 we're going to be doing the driver and passenger seat back so we are going to be completing the seat more of the same of what we did to be honest with you but that does look pretty impressive it looks like we do get to mount it to the uh, inner tray as well which is sitting up there on the shelf i didn't need to get it down into this stage but i really do hope you like that video we're in for a good week this week if you did like that video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care